So Clorinda is right on the other, so you have Asuncion, Paraguay, which is the capital of Paraguay, and then you have the Argentine border, and right on the other side you have Clorinda. Um, it's a very nice city. It's super, super, super hot in the summer, or so they tell me. I served there in the winter, and it was about as hot as it was in summer in any of the other provinces. Um, but the people there are so nice, especially in Formosa. They're so just accepting and receptive of you. You have a really large variety of houses. Sometimes you'll have houses that basically are could be on like basically could be on the same standard as the houses here, just slightly smaller. Then you can have houses that range so widely they're basically um, constructed of whatever they had on hand, whether it be bricks or boards of plywood or little uh, tin grate tin, tin grating whatever they'll whatever they can build their houses out of you have a so the, the range is so wide depending on what neighborhood you're in it's close to Paraguay so there's a lot of Paraguayos a lot of and they have a very laid-back atmosphere there's a large Aborigine co uh, colony which is native Argentines there's a large Aborigine colony which is um, Native American Argentines Crime was not a problem in Clorinda. In Resistencia, in Formosa, you had to be careful. In Corrientes, once someone tried to steal our cell phone. But Clorinda, there wasn't a problem. In most of the smaller cities in the mission, it's not a great big problem. Pide in Argentina is kind of a kicker. Is kind of, yeah, a kicker, that's what we'll call it. Because there's a mission rule that you can't play soccer or ping pong or get together and do sports with anybody except your companion. So what most missionaries do on P-Days is they just sleep. It's our day to take a break. Um, I couldn't complain. I was perfectly willing to sleep. Uh, there's not a lot of activities we do. We're, there's regulations you can't get together with the members because missionaries in the past made some poor decisions and bad things happened. So now, for por culpa de pocos, todos sufren. <laughs> The people there are awesome. I cannot stress that enough. Talk to as many people as you can, including Dan and Formosa. They are so accepting. In Clorinda, um, once on our P day, there was a family, a member family, that invited us to do something very fun. They there's this river that separates Argentina, Argentina and, Paragu and Paraguay. So they invited us to go up to that, and they we went fishing. Now the first thing you do is you get a little teeny twig and a little bit of fishing line. They don't have, it's not fishing poles like we have. Just stick a little bit of meat at the end and dip it in the river and catch little piranhas that are teeny, they're about this big. You catch them, you, you pull them out. And then what they do is they get the piranhas that we've caught, we cut them into little pieces. So they're kind of fresh, sorry vegetarians. And then we get a aerosol can with lots and lots and lots of line wrapped around it. Then you go out and you get the piranha, the bits of piranha, stick that on a hook, and you just throw it out as far as you can in the middle of the river, and you can catch big fish that are like this big. It was such a fun activity, and I'm so grateful to the Roa family for letting us do that.